Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today I will read a small passage from the Bible from which we will take our reflection. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone wants to become my followers, let them deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is come with his angels, is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what has been done. When we read this passage, there is one line that will stand out to everybody here. And that is, if you want to be my follower, take up your cross, deny yourselves and follow me. So what does it mean to deny ourselves? To deny ourselves means to deny ourselves of all the worldly pleasures that we are all just waiting to give in to. To deny ourselves means to deny ourselves of our plans. We all have very detailed and lavish plans of our life. And the more we grow up, the more detailed these life plans get. But denying ourselves, as the Bible asks us to do today, means to give it all up in assurance that whatever plan God has for us in his mind is the best. And we are supposed to give up this plan and to surrender our lives to God, not after you get a detailed explanation of what plan God has for you and me. It is regardless of whether or not you know what plan it is or whether or not you're sure about it. Because as the Bible says, the human mind plans the way, but the Lord directs the steps. So this whole passage talks about absolute surrender of our life to God of our life to God, of our plans to God and his to his plans. And this does not mean that his plans will always consist of a wide road that is very comfortable to walk on. Many a times during this journey, this life will contain, this life plan of his for us will contain a road that is very narrow. It might feel like walking on a tightrope. It might feel like walking on thorns. It might contain a lot of trials and tribulations. But that is the essence of today's gospel. It's asking us that in spite of that narrow road, in spite of that tight rope and thorns, are you still willing to follow Christ? Is your, is my commitment, is your commitment going to be as strong on that narrow road as it is on the wide road, on the comfortable road? Being a disciple of Christ is not always easy. Because being a disciple means that means that a lot of time we'll have to be alone. We'll have to be against the world, against a lot of people. And not just the world in general, but this might start from our family. This might start from our office. Because a lot of times, if we live as Catholics in its true sense, according to the Bible and according to the teachings of the church, it means standing alone because not everyone's thoughts and lifestyles will align with us. They won't agree with us. And that's why many a times we'll have to face rejections and we'll have to be alone and just have God and just know that we have God by our side. So today's gospel is asking us, are you willing to follow me in spite of all this, in spite of knowing that you might have to go through all this? Not 24 seven, but there might be times like these. Are you willing for that? Another line that will stand out to you is the line that really touched St. Augustine, is the line that converted him. That is, what is it for a man if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? And I think this line holds more meaning and is more relatable to all of us today than it was a few years ago or 20 years ago or a decade ago, anything. Because I think today we are all very busy in our lives, be it a 10 year old or a 50 year old we are all extremely busy young children are going for so many different classes so many different extracurricular activities people like us our age youth we are so busy in college in office making that presentation aiming for that promotion or whatever it is that we are forgetting that we need to give time to god we need to give time for our soul to nurture our soul because no matter what position we get in this world, no matter how outstanding we are in the eyes of this world, 
if we are not outstanding in the eyes of god if our soul is not outstanding in the eyes of god at the end on our last day everything in the world everything that we gained in the world is not going to matter and we all have to see to it that we also give time to our soul that we grow along with christ so no matter how you look at this gospel today no matter what interpretation interpretation you bring out of this gospel it'll all ask you just one thing are you ready to give god time and are you ready to give god the effort it's going to take the courage it's going to take to be his disciple are you and i ready for it and i think this is the question we need to ask ourselves today and reflect upon thank you mm-hmm.